Well, I can tell you, I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep. I don't even, this is not good movie making. Not even the Razzies are interested in this. But here we are, ever conservative Daily Wire, apparently in the movie making business now, because someone needed to counter. They felt the quote, unacceptable wokeness in Hollywood that threatens their existence of America by casting non white and not straight people in things. Why would they let them act in a movie? Okay. <laughs> The Wire presents its first full length film, Snow White and the Evil Queen. The relief of so many people angered by past Disney casting choices, read bigots. Wire's Snow White is as white as snow. Per Mediaite, Snow White and the Evil Queen is the brainchild of Ben Shapiro, who was just baffled by how anyone could cast anything but a white actress as the title role of Snow White. So what did he do? We had a whole damn movie made. Proof point, because Ben Shapiro is the co-founder of the Daily Wire and the Bent Key app, which promises kid-friendly content with absolutely no gaze in it and only the correct races of people. As an added middle finger, he launched it on the 100th anniversary of Disney Entertainment. So that's a news flash to Disney who probably didn't even notice. They didn't even know that he did this. So we're just alerting you, Disney. Okay, the Snow White is played by Brett Cooper, who used to be an actor before becoming a conservative YouTuber and commentator. Well, she's acting again, but not to prove a point, but to play a beloved straight and white, straight and white fairy tale princess. Isn't this dreamy and wholesome? According to Deadline, Cooper said, I was raised on the original Grimm's fairy tales. So I'm thrilled that we're bringing this iconic story to life for the next generation. Snow White is such a beautiful character. And I'm honored to be playing her. Like all the best fairy tales, this is a story with timeless values like love, friendship, and kindness. And I can't wait to share them. Comment section with Brett Cooper. That's where we got that from. Jeremy Boring, CEO of the Daily Wire and writer of the Not Disney song, heard in the teaser, told Daily Wire staff, it's a story about a princess and a prince and beauty and vanity about love and its power to raise us from the death to life. It's our own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. You sound crazy. That's me saying that. But of course, he had to remind everyone why. Why this movie needlessly exists by taking a swipe at Disney's upcoming Snow White movie starring Latina actress Rachel Zegler. It'll be marvelous in it. For deadline without providing specific evidence, boring claim the House of Mouse's film will expose children to popular but destructive lies of the current moment. And he said further, while Disney still uses Walt Disney's name, they have all but abandoned his legacy. Takes 100 years to build Disney, we know. We aren't what they are today, but we hope in time we might become what they were once upon a time. Little studio with big ideas and the courage to chase them. That from the CEO of the Daily Wire. I want you to talk, Jackson, because I didn't see the clip. Again, I fell asleep. That's how boring (laughs) this is. Can we just come on? You want to make good content? This is it. Well, the, the one of the funniest parts of the clip was when it said, uh, what it said, a tale of timeless truths, like. It's a fairy tale. It's not true. Like, I guess, like, this could only have happened with a white woman or whatever. But also, you know, if you're worried about getting away from uh, Walt Disney's legacy, he was a raving anti Semite. So there's that. And that doesn't stop me from watching Disney because I don't really care. But if we want to, if you do care about his legacy, that's absolutely a part of his legacy. 
But let's be serious. I mean, like, you didn't really need to remake this movie because there's already an original Snow White, which the majority of people have seen. In fact, most people aren't going to watch this new Snow White movie that you're so concerned of. You're promoting it more by making this counter movie to it. You know, like no one. This this also is another example. This is lame. You just wasted your money on this whack, lame project that you didn't need to do because there's a Latina and gay people. I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know. I don't know nothing about this movie because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Not one bit. It doesn't matter a bit. OK, like I told you, we're bored. OK, yes. We need some pop in it. We need something in it. OK, and this ain't popping no matter what they're trying to pull here. And by the way, again, Disney is could care less. They care less about this little startup thing. 